Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth episode of my RPG Maker VS Ace video tutorials. In this episode, I will be briefly, uh, not briefly, I will actually go over the entirety of the character generator, which is actually not that much of stuff to go over. So to get to the character generator, there's two ways to do this. One is by clicking here with the um, small guy. Or you could go to tools, then go to character generator. When the character generator opens, you the first thing that goes to your mind is wow, okay. Now what? Okay. You have two tabs, one for male and one for female. I'm gonna be sticking with the male, but this is everything that applies with the f everything that applies with the male also applies with the female, except they're different graphics. So hair color, just as it says, it changes the hair color. So you could pick whatever weird color you want. Let's make it black. Eye color. Change the eye color. Um, Note, some changes take effect on only the face. With only the face. or And some only takes effect on only the character um, graphics. And some takes effect on both. Like the eye color. See, it's, if you look close enough, it's right here. And it's also right here. Skin color also. Let's go ahead and make him this color and the um generate i mean generate random just like randomizes all the settings um front here let me make it bold just to show you what the front here basically just controls the hair that's in front as you can see the hair that's in front only let's give him that and then the rear here controls the hair that's behind Let's give him. Let's make him look like Wolverine from. Oh, I should know. Let's keep this face shape. As it says, it changes the shape of the face. As you can see, it's only affecting the face graphics and not the overall graphics. And then the ear again. You only get like three types of ears one is human ear two is like half elf ear or whatever and then three is elf ears let's keep it at one three eyebrows just different different eyebrows so basically with this i'm not gonna go over the whole thing because it's basically self-explanatory basically with this then you could create your own npcs or even actors as you need them so you may mainly you don't that means you won't be you don't have to you could actually make a whole game without without relying on custom content that other people made for you you could just make them by yourself um that just means i'm gonna change the mouth the neck is basically for this. Let's keep that. Clock. So basically, with this, you could basically create your own characters, make them as cool as you want or as uncool as you want. Oh, yeah, this guy looks badass enough. Output and then the output base that when you're saving, always make sure to save twice unless you only want one. Because if you output face, don't forget to output character. Because I do forget sometimes. Because when I output, um, when I output um face, it only does the face, and then I think it saves the character too, but it doesn't. So make sure you get both of them. Let's give him a cooler armor. All right. So with this, you can create your own NPCs or your own characters. And then it's going to add it automatically to your database. And as you can see here is the NPC that we just made we can make it our default character 
or we could just use it as an NPC or we could just do it for fun. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a purpose while we create him. And that is basically it for this episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I shall be seeing you guys on the next episode. So it's tutorial NPC in tutorial world in tutorial village. I'm lagging because again I'm rendering and recording at the same time. And thank you guys for watching this episode, this very short, short episode after that long series of three episodes of the part four, which was a mouthful. I will see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye. Make sure to comment and like. Also subscribe. Bye.